The first word in the phrase personal brand is personal. Now add I-T-Y to it, drop the brand, and that's what it really means. That's the secret, Adam Ritchie brand direction. So personality is your personal brand. Good day, my name is Deanda, and with 20 plus years of brand marketing expertise, I've been successful in assisting global and indie brands get to the sweet spot in the marketplace. Please click the like and subscribe button below. So that's it. Personality is personal branding, right? So, uh, your personality is your personal brand. There are three main ingredients that help make up that personal brand. Um, and we'll get to that. Um, today, the, the main reason for this particular um, episode um, on the channel is to basically give you um, a look at what your resume is to your personal brand okay so let's get into it let's get into the sweet spot great so what are those three main ingredients um in develop what are the three main ingredients in developing your personal brand um some might say that the first one is to be knowledgeable about something um so of course you know to be knowledgeable about something on your resume for example um, it only lists the skills that you have it doesn't list the skills that you know your brother has it only lists the skills that you have um, the expertise that you have and that you can bring to a role or a company um, and a company um, the second thing is to have an opinion um, and having an opinion is um, very important. How to articulate that might be slightly on another plane. Um, everybody's not always um, familiar with exactly how to go about doing that. And we'll get into the weeds of that in just a minute. Um, and the third thing is um, delivering on your knowledge and your opinion um, with personality, right? So it's it's all about how you do it. You know that phrase, um, it's not what you said, but how you say it. Um, and that goes into your personality, um, how you deliver good news, bad news. Um, you know, people come to you for certain things and it's all about your personality, right? And how you um, provide the knowledge that they might be seeking that only you have the answers to. Um, how you display and or um, deliver your opinion on things um, is uh, what draw people to you and that makes up your personality, right? Um, and it goes without saying that, you know, everybody doesn't have one, the platform or the wherewithal to deliver on um, their opinion. And that may be out of fear. It may be that they don't have access um, to deliver that. But one thing that we all have, like if you work, you should have uh, a resume and um, delivering your um, knowledge and opinion on your resume is what the one and only platform that we all have right? We all have, you know, a resume. So we all have the opportunity to, um, and or the platform to deliver on that. And um, the best way to make sure that, you know, we're doing that correctly is to make sure that we're only putting things there that we have, um, you know, ultimate knowledge of, right? You put things on there that you have, you know, you've never done, and then, then you're called upon to um, talk to those things and act on those things. I want to hire you for doing these. And then you, you know, these things, and then you, you know, show up and say, oh, I really don't know how to do that. I just thought it sounded good, right? So you can't do that. Um, 
So um, just a kind of a quick note is to note that um, what your resume is. Your resume uh, communicates your qualifications um, of your brand, right? It is who you are and what makes you different to employers and recruiters, right? So um, if you are going out for a role or you're up for a role or you're um, trying to um, get um, clients, um, you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get clients, um, your resume, a sense of what might be your resume is your um, client, your um, business profile. And your business profile also, you know, attracts certain amount, you know, a certain type of client if you've defined your personal brand correctly, right? Um, in um, a market like we're in now where there's, you know, a sea of competitors, um, a sea of uh, um, different um, job um, seekers, you want to make sure that your resume or your um, business profile uniquely describes your personality. Um, it gets in the weeds. It's, it doesn't have to be a book. <laughs> We're not asking for that. But we do want something that um, you're, you know, a one, page, one to two pages um, in terms of a resume to um, display all of those things. Anything more than that, you're probably doing a little bit too much. Um, and as far as like an entrepreneur, um, for your business profile, you want to keep it brief. You want to have basically, uh, a, um, uh, elevator speech that is no longer than a minute long that pretty much A to Z's what you can offer this client, right? So your personal brand, just to get back to it, um, needs to, um, uh, one, basically, provide and or display your personality. There are three components that make that up um, and it's knowledge, opinion, and delivering those two things, your knowledge and your opinion, right? Um, so if you got those three things, you are well on your way to delivering a and providing a um, top-notch personal brand. Thanks so much for getting into the sweet spot with Deanda. Um, please click the like and subscribe button below.